Hello Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to change our fruits every 50 level ups. But before we start, you can show your support by using star code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. With every purchase you make, 5% will go to me, and this will really help me make better videos for each and every one of us. Where the actors slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. That's your slam. That's the dump. Okay, guys, so are you ready for our first spin? Our money is ready and we are here in the public server to spin our first fruit. Okay, so since we're level 1, it will cost us 25,000 to spin a fruit. And for our first fruit, we got the spring fruit. Is this good for grinding for our 51st levels? Let's start. And to start everything on our first island, obviously the starter island, we're gonna start defeating the bandits. With our first skill, the knock, it is multi-target, which means you can damage multiple bandits at the same time. So make sure to lure 5 to finish a quest. Your goal here is level 10. For the stats, 22 blocks fruits, next island. I decided to head to the marine fortress and check that out a soul fruit user. So I asked for help. If he can help me defeat petty officers, but he did not respond. So I did it on my own. So guys, just use your Z-Skill, jump here, and use your Z-Skill until you defeat him. So it will take some time to do this. But once you defeat one, you will level up really fast. In the Mastery, you will unlock your second skill, the Spring Snipe. There you go. So after that, we are heading towards the jungle and start defeating the Gorilla King. So guys, very easy. Just use your Z and X skill. Jump in high ground. If you want, you can just run around. Wait distance. Use your ZNX skill. Wait for it to hold down. But if you don't want to get damaged, just stay here, okay? Use your ZNX skill and that's it. A Gorilla King spawns really fast. So guys, I suggest just defeat this until you reach level 31. After that, we're moving on to our next island, the Pirate Village. So we're gonna start here with the pirates. So guys, they're easy to defeat. Don't worry. Use your ZNX skill, lure 4 at a time, do this twice to finish a quest. The only problem is this kind of players. So by the way, I'm in the public server, so I think I should not complain. Check this out. I'm luring the pirates and this ice fruit user started attacking it. Anyway, just change servers and continue grinding until level 41. Next up, the brutes. Same strategy, lure 4 at a time. Use your Z and X skill. So while I was grinding, I saw this conversation of Justin and his friend, Games Luigi. So they're talking about a math and English assignment. So I told them that if they make it, I will give them a shout out. So guys, shout out to Justin and Games Luigi. Here they are, even though they oofed me. Okay, back to grinding. Okay, so just continue grinding the brutes until you reach level 50. There you go. So after that, we are going back to the jungle to spin a new fruit. But the problem is even though we talked to Justin and his friend, we still have 29 minutes to wait. So I asked my brother to get one for me. And guys, we got the door fruit. OMG, guys. This one will be hard, but the show must go on. So there you go, door fruit. And since we are here in the jungle, we're gonna defeat Gorilla King for some masteries. I don't suggest going back to the pirates. So guys, go to the Fountain City and start defeating the Gali Pirates. Just lure one, use your left clicks, combat M1 to damage, and use your Dwarfruit Z skill to finish him, okay? So you will grind mastery here really fast. And once you unlock your X skill, the dimensional door, you can now head back to the pirate village. So gamer who is our target here? Start defeating the buggy or Bobby the Clown. So guys, check this out. The X skill can damage three times. So that's two damages and after that, wait till he opens the door. There you go. <coughs> guys, so using the X skill plus Z skill, you can damage your enemy four times in one set of skills, okay? So target here is level 78. Next up, the desert. So here, our target is the desert officers. So it's kind of hard because you need to defeat two at a time. And you need to defeat six to finish a quest. So guys, our goal here is to reach level 100. Guys, finally, we can now go back to the jungle and spin a new fruit. Okay, so for our third fruit, we got the light fruit, guys. This will be really fast. One of the best fruits for grinding in the third C. So here, we're just gonna reach Mastery 10. 
and after that we can now use our light flight to fly to the next area and that area is the frozen village so you're just gonna use left clicks to defeat the snow bandits and there you go keep doing quests until you reach 105 now you can start defeating the yeti or just go back to the snow bandits your goal here is 120 okay guys again 120 after that moving on marine fortress you can start defeating the petty officers so guys my technique here is i'll just reach level 130 and after that i can start defeating the vice admiral but if you don't want to server hop just keep on defeating the petty officers until you reach level 150 okay so after that going back to the jungle our next fruit is a legendary spike fruit guys i've made a video of this one to max so i really know how to use this fruit so let's go first keep on defeating the petty officers until you unlock the spiky ball so once you do that i think we are ready to go to the next island and that island is the skylands so guys first enemy here is the sky bandits just two sets of z and x skill and that's enough spike fruit is really good for grinding because the z and x skill is multi-target and the colon is really fast at 190, we're gonna start defeating the Dark Master. Same strategy, lure 4, Z and X skill. Check this out. Another Z and X skill. That's two sets. Defeating them will be easy. Fast, level 200. Okay, so now back to the jungle to spin our next fruit. And our next fruit is, guys, the chop fruit. This fruit is the weakness of all sword users. The same with Bobby the Clown. So guys, as long as it's sword user, they cannot damage you. So for the Dark Masters, very easy. Guys, your Z and X skill is multi-target, but your C is a single target. We're gonna leave this area at level 212 and move on to the prison. So here, we're gonna start defeating the dangerous prisoners. There you go. Again, they're sword users, so no damage. Okay, no tips here. Just keep on defeating them until you reach level 220 so now warden the boss here so guys just do wall strap and that's it they cannot damage you same with the chief warden so guys keep on defeating them do server hop until you reach level 250 time to change fruit okay so let's head to the jungle hopefully we get a logia fruit okay guys so we got a sand fruit not bad so we're going back to the prison to defeat dangerous prisoners no hacky so no damage level 240 you can start defeating the swan so guys just lure him here and use your skills and that's it okay just great distance when your skills is in cooldown and that's it i suggest that you dodge the coliseum quests just grind here do server hop until you reach level 300 after that we are going back to the jungle to get a new fruit and for our next fruit we got the love fruit so guys we are going back to the prison why because this fruit is good for single target enemies as well as multi-target and luckily someone is already defeating the chief warden so we're gonna help him there you go level up also the swan and the warden okay guys so after this we are heading to the skylands yes by a cannon on the marine fortress and by the observation hockey why because guys we are going to the magma village and start defeating the military soldiers guys they have hockey so you need to dodge their skills to survive and grind here stop a three to five military spice guys just one combo zxc plus one more c skill and that's enough to defeat them okay so guys at 350 back to the jungle for our next fruit guys check this out guys we got the dragon fruit omg <laughs> The master is hard for this, but guys, we're lucky, right? So Magma Village 350, Magma Admiral. Let's count how many Z skills. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 Z skills to defeat one. <laughs> and you're gonna do server hop until you reach level 400, guys. So good luck. If you have ad other uh, strategies in mind, comment it in the comment section. But that's what I did. So at 400, we only unlock two skills. We're gonna change it. Oh, well, guys, to the jungle. Our next fruit is the king of fruit. Oh my golly. <laughs> <laughs> next area to grind is the underwater city. Target is the fishman warriors. We're just gonna grind 25 levels here, guys. Uh, the first skill is multi-target which is good in a way there you go so once you unlock three skills everything will be faster so again at 425 you can start defeating 
the fishman lord guys everything will be easy from here because if you lure him go to the window and he cannot damage you okay so just use your z x and c skill to damage him and that's it i suggest you do server hop which will make things really fast and at 450 welcome back to the jungle guys i hope a good fruit okay not bad the smoke okay so at 450 we're going to the skylands and start defeating the god's guards well they're not that easy to defeat again guys log is not yet in effect okay so it will start at uh, level 459 so just bear with it okay just for nine levels and once you reach level 459 everything will be easy check that out no more damage so my target level here 500 okay so again, 500, going back to the jungle, spinning a new fruit. Our next fruit is the light fruit, but we are not supposed to use that. So we waited for two hours, and next fruit is the ice fruit, okay? Not bad, still Nogia, so we're gonna eat it. We have a sword, no problem with that. Now, going back to Skylands, our first target is the Whisper. So using your first skill, Z skill, there you go. Lure him here, use the Rock Strat, he cannot damage you here. So stay here, wait for your skill to hold down, Z skill, and defeat him, okay? Things will be a lot faster when you unlock your skills. Every time you defeat him, you will get lots of mastery. There you go. So again, our goal here is to reach level 550. Okay, so back to the jungle. For our next fruit, we got the diamond fruit. So my strategy is to go back to the Skylands and start defeating the royal squads. You're gonna lure them inside the house. There you go, wall strat, they cannot damage you. Use your X skill to defeat them. Do this until you can grind masteries to unlock your C, Diamond Hail, and Solar Flare skills. So once you do that, what's next, Gamer Nob? Guys, you can now go back to the Whisper. Okay, so same strategy, do the, the Stone Strat, there you go. He cannot hit you here, just keep using your skills. So at 600, going back to the jungle again. Our next fruit is the barrier fruit okay so once you unlock all the skills guys the combo of this can one hit every mob in the first c okay so at first we're gonna have a hard time but once you defeat the whisper you will unlock some skills keep defeating him until you reach level 625 okay so there you go the barrier prison the surprise attack okay so again at 625 next island the fountain city our target is the Galley Pirates. And once you unlock your V skill, guys, you can one-hit combo this mobs, the Galley Pirates. Check how strong the Barrier Tower is. 1 for HP, boom. Just one V skill. You see that? Okay, guys, so at 650, our final fruit before we end this video. And that fruit would be the Flame Fruit, guys. <laughs> okay, so... Obviously, we're gonna end here with the Galley Pirates. So if you want a part of this, comment it in the comment section. If we reach 100,000 views with this video, we will continue it, okay? So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Guys, be patient with the update. It will come out next week. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNob. And GamerNob out!